Hi guys, it's Mike here from KS Bushcraft Down Under. So, an acquaintance of mine has just dropped off a, uh, a single burner uh, gas hob. It's a high pressure one, there's no regulator. And it's not working. So, uh, I'll go through diagnosing what's wrong with this thing. Hopefully I can fix it. It's uh, made by Prime, it's not a bad one. Yeah, it's quite a reasonable, it's very similar to the one I drove around Australia with. And I had no problems. But it does have a very fine jet inside, which can be subject to blocking easily enough. But I'll go you through the, the process of elimination. So the first thing I'm going to do is confirm that there's gas in the cylinder. And I can feel liquid gas sloshing around. So that's a good sign. When I was a heavy duty fitter, the amount of times I can hear gas coming out, but the burner ring's not lighting. So there's a good start. So I'll remove the, uh, the unit from the uh, gas cylinder. And I'll confirm that there's gas flowing from the cylinder. Okay guys, so I've checked this one. So this one is a 19mm nut under here. Now unlike your normal uh, righty tidy lefty loosey, this is a gas thread here. So you feel like you're tightening it up, but you're actually loosening it. So that cheers. Okay, doggy. So well, it's clear to there. So be careful doing this. Put my thumb on here. Yep, I can feel this gas pressure there. Reasonably clean down there. So it's not the gas bottle; it's the fishing gas to make it work. So that's that's stage done. Okay, so what I'm doing here, I'm looking through, looking through these air mixer holes. Now it's quite common here in Australia, probably other places in the world, for spiders. They seem to love this airspace inside of there. You guys can see that. Now it appears to be clear, and the rows had a couple of overflows on it, but that appears to be clear enough. So now the jet no rings are right at the bottom will be in here. So it's collared. Now this will not be a gas thread in here. You guys can see that properly. So I'll find a spanner to fit this. Then I'll loosen that off and then we can then check the jet. Okay guys, that's unusual. Yeah. 12 mil wasn't a great fit. 11 was uh, too small. It's actually 7 sixteenths, I have. Now what's that? A long time since I've had AF spanners out. So, shifter won't fit because it's too narrow. So we're in there. Good reasonable fit. If I can do this holding it, which I can. Not that tight. So the problem with all this high pressure stuff is the fineness of the jets. Dust and crud, dirty gas, whatever, can cause them problems. So that is the jet. And it's got a stamp code on it. I can read it. Might need me a magnifying glass, I must be going blind. I think it says 18. And I'll just drop it on the ground. Okie dokie. So Seals good. So what I'll do, I'll test this by putting it on the gas cylinder and we'll check for flow. Okay, so I bolted the jet unit onto the cylinder, cracked the valve, I can feel the gas flowing out. Don't do this at home, kiddies. So it's actually coming out at that speed it won't light. But we can eliminate the uh, the gas jet. So this one's 19 on the uh, nut. So that's out of the equation for the moment. I'll put that one side. Cylinder we know is good. Let's get under this burner unit. And whoo. Okay. There's the problem. Max spider web. 
it's actually formed a dome, it's not letting that gas through to mix up here at the air mixing hole so, you guys can see that so I'll get something to clear it out with and there she is Web. Now I can see all the way through to the burner cup and I know these holes are clear because you can see a little bit of that spider web is just there in that hole. You can pick that. Doing my best for the camera guys. So that there. So the old technical so I've blown through it. No compressor required. Yeah, the holes seem pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So I shall... Twiddle in to get that thread started. So I've started the thread. <coughs> Let me spin her on. So it's in well, I said it's an incredibly common thing here in Australia. And we've got plenty of spiders, we've got lots of things that'll uh, sting and bite. <laughs> okay, now you to go, it wasn't super tight to start with, so I'll just nip it up. Okay, remember, gas thread. So I'll just raise it up. So I set the thread. Now you don't have to go, some of these things don't even have a nut, they have a finger thread. So just nip it up, you'll just crush the o-ring otherwise. So let's see what happens, eh? Oh, that sounds better. Hey! So. So I'll let this run for a bit. And that'll uh, clear out some of those jets. And I may give this a little gentle wire brushing. But that's a goer. It's a, a simple fix this time. Anyway, guys. I hope you found this uh, content useful. If you do, feel like subscribing, it helps me out greatly. And we'll see you next time.